Hey, what's going on YouTube? Brian here. This video is kind of a high level overview for the power users for Windows 11. If you right click on the start icon, we still get the awesome start uh, power options menu. Uh, some of the highlights I would say is they have the multiple tab terminal, which you can use if you have obviously Azure Shell command prompt. If you have rather uh, terminals, you can add it there too, which is definitely a benefit. Um, one of the areas I would really like is they have a kiosk mode. So if you go into accounts, family and other accounts, you can set up kiosk mode. So if you're using this in a kiosk environment or public access, you only want them to have access to like a web browser or something or a certain application, you can easily do it now on there. Um, this is the settings menu. For those of you who are used to like Linux and GNOME environments, it looks practically identical to that. It has some obviously Microsoft touches as we can tell. But overall, functionality was in order to get to anything, it's easy to do. You can open up the search. You can search for it as you can see I've done. Um, in order to get to anything, you can just simply type for it. Um, so if you're checking PowerShell, for example, it's just that easy to open PowerShell. Same as in Windows 10. Uh, all of the shortcuts seem to be the same. Uh, as far as getting to anything, like I said, the quick ways, just as we've always done to get into our network connections. Like I said, this is a high level overview. Um, obviously, the, they changed some of our views around. so. If you're looking at this, like this one has flat files inside. You can't really tell unless you click in it. Um, one of the weird quirks is, so if you want to right click and you want to have, say you have uh, a bunch of programs that will have like self extractor, like WinRAR or anything like that, you have to come down here, click more options. And then that will bring you back to your traditional one. Uh, one really nice feature is if you're inside of a folder and you need to open it up in a terminal environment, this is now available. Linux has had it for a while, but now Microsoft is finally catching up to it. Um, so like I said, this is more just a high level overview in a power user environment. If you're familiar with being a power user in Windows 10, being a power user in Windows 11 will not be that much more of a challenge. All right, Brian here. If you guys want mine, like, subscribe. It, definitely appreciate all of it. Leave a comment. If there's anything else you want to see, feel free to let me know. Thanks. Have a good one.